Finally, our last presentation for tonight is Angela Kintomenis with The Future of Care Work. What comes to mind when we think of the future of work? Robots, software engineers, automated production lines, AI. But this futurist vision always seems to forget one type of essential work that can never be automated, care work. The theory of social reproduction asks a simple yet damning question of capitalism. Who produces the producer? Who cares for the young and the elderly? Who cooks our food, cleans our homes? This is the essential work of sustaining and reproducing our society and the economy itself. Yet care and domestic work is often invisible. It's considered not quite real work, but rather something that should just be a labor of love done by wives and mothers, and also low paid workers who are often women and migrants. My PhD examines the past, the present, and also the future of care work using historical, in-depth, qualitative, and legal research methods. First, the past. Paid care and domestic work is notoriously absent from the mythology of the creation of Australia as an egalitarian society. My research excavates this forgotten history across gender, migration, labour and the welfare state. For example, the mass migration of domestic servants under the Empire Settlement Act of the 1920s, or the little known emergency housekeeper schemes that ran during and after World War II recruiting European migrants. Second, how does this past inform our future, our present? I turn to an important emerging case study of invisible care work right now, today. Au pairing. Au pairing is a rapidly growing form of migrant domestic work in Australia. As part of my research, I interviewed more than 30 families and temporary migrants who worked as au pairs to understand and document those hidden experiences during the pandemic. Third, the future. Shifting demographics mean that the need and the demand for care is only going to grow. Therefore, I look to the solutions so that we can better value and understand care work within our law and within our policies, and also to, to consider how new technologies like gig platforms could be part of the solution rather than just part of the problem. My research contributes important insights to build a better and more caring future for us all, so that care work is not forgotten in the future of work. <laughs> 